the bell icon to turn on notifications. Let's move on now to looking at some other calculations. And we're really going to explore what I like to call the big five. We've already seen sum. That is one of the big five, the most popular functions or formulas that you're going to construct. But let's take a look at some of the other ones, average, min, and max. Now I can see here in this table, again, I just have some months, I have some quarters, and I have maybe some sales figures in the middle here. So I'm quickly going to do some calculation down here. We've already done this. We've seen how it works. I'm going to select this first column and hit enter. And then just to make this super quick, I'm going to use my autofill handle to drag that formula across. I'm also going to do the same thing here. So equals sum. Let's open brackets. Select. And I want to copy that down. I'm going to highlight all the cells. Remember, control D will allow you to copy that formula down. Now, interestingly, look in the last row here, you can see I have those fences or those gates, as I like to call them, those hash symbols. Now, don't worry too much if you see that in a cell. It just means that the cell isn't wide enough to accommodate the uh, whatever it is you have in that particular cell. So I'm going to widen this column out by double clicking. And there you go. You can see now I can see that number. So let's now do some averages. So I want to use a formula that's going to allow me to work out the average of all sales across uh, all four quarters. So for this, very simply, it's exactly like sum. We use the average function. Again, you can see IntelliSense has picked up all of the formulas in Excel which contain the word average. Open my bracket and it is exactly the same process. We select the cell range that we want to work the average out of. Hit enter. And there we go. I can select all cells, control D to copy that down. Now the min function will allow you to find the minimum value in a range of cells. So if I want to find out which quarter had the lowest sales, I would use min. So I'm going to type in equals min, oops, open bracket. And again, I can select my cell range, close the bracket, hit enter. And there is my minimum value. Control D to copy that down. And you can probably imagine what max is going to do. It's going to show me the maximum value in a range of cells. So equals max, open bracket. I like the cells. And there we go. Control D to copy that formula down. So very quickly, I've been able to complete all of those totals using Excel's five most basic formulas. And they are basic. They have one argument. You just need to tell it the cell range that you want to find the sum, min, max or average of. OK, nice and straightforward, nice and simple. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.